what is going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video of the bad boy racing garage or channel or team whatever you want to call it so today what we got going on today so we are in puerto rico um we came for the bad bunny concert and uh tanya is getting her hair done and I have about three hours of downtime. So what is Al going to do with three hours of downtime while he's in Puerto Rico? If you guessed it, yes, I am going to a speed shop here in Dorado. Um, the speed shop is called Dorado Dino and Auto Parts. So I'm not going there to buy nothing big. Um because I don't plan on spending a lot of money there. I'm simply, I simply want to see the shop, how it looks, what they got, show it to you guys. And I'm probably just going to buy a couple fittings. You know, um, really, really, I want to see, just like I said, I just want to see what the shop looks like. But I'm not going to go in there, uh, start recording them. Well, first I'm going to ask for permission. But I don't want to start recording and me walk out of there with nothing. Like, I'm not going to window shop. But... Like I said, I'll probably just end up buying a couple more fittings for the fuel system that you guys know I'm building and putting together. Um, I don't know if I've explained this already, but I've been build every everything I do to my car, I do it in steps. Um, I, I like, not even that I like, but I kind of have to do everything in steps because I'm not rich. I don't have thousands of dollars sitting in my account. For me to just go to a spot or a shop and just buy everything at once but yeah i do everything step by step by the time i know it my car is uh or my fuel system will be done so i think what i'm gonna do right now is get all the fittings which is only like four for the fuel uh return um i need a dash 12 to dash 10 so it's a dash 12 ORB to dash 10 male. Um, I need a dash 12 to dash 10 ORB to 10, another one. And then I need a 180 dash 10. And that's it. That's all I need for the return. Oh, and I also need a dash 12 port plug to 18 NPT. Now. The only company that sells a dash 12 to 18 NPT port plug is Red Horse. So if they only sell Vibrant, I don't think they're gonna have it unless they magically have something. But I've looked everywhere on the um, Vibrant Performance site and they don't. I don't think they make it. But uh, I'm gonna take a quick clip on the way there. Literally, we're like two minutes away. So you guys can see a little bit of the, of the Puerto Rican scene. So. I'll see you guys there. Bacalaitos. There's a little bit of traffic today. I'm pretty sure the shop is going to be on my left. Because it keeps telling me to do a U-turn. Got the little selling hammocks. So I think we're gonna go up this little hill and then we gotta hit a U-turn somewhere up there. I don't know if there is a uh, a light or what, but the shop should be to my left, like I said. I love the Puerto Rican scene, man. It just looks so nice. Everything's nice and green. It just feels tropical, you know? So let's see. Da -da 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 -da. truck right there ah i think there it is there it is guys dorado dino and all the parts that's where i'm going let's see if i can uh i don't know where this is at so i just asked a gentleman he told me to go down the hill 
He said the dyno is going to be on my left. Whoa, I'm not used to something like this. I think I'm just going to park right here. Damn, look at that Tacoma. That thing is nice. All right, guys. So we're here inside of Dorado. Dorado Dino and Auto Parts. So I'm gonna show you guys everything they have in here. So I just bought all the remaining fittings that I needed for my return system. And I'm just gonna record. Um, let me put the bag right here so you guys can see. Open la bolsita aquí pa grabar. All right, so right here, you got all the wheels. So you got the VMS wheels. We got the 13 by eight, 13 by nine. They got all the uh, precision, um, waste gates, blow all valves, racing B products, turbo smart products. They got precision turbos. They got all kinds of intercoolers, headers, piping, fuel techs, micro tech, all kinds of comedic gaskets. They got it all. They got weld racing B locks. This is like a racer's dream shop right here. So if you guys ever come to Puerto Rico and you guys want to hit up a shop, come back to Dorado Dino Speed Shop. And and they got a dino also. Tienen dino, ¿verdad? Yeah. They got a dino. Here's the famous Bebo, El Bebo Racing. He got a super nice stick shift. Es el más rápido del mundo, ¿verdad? He got the fastest 13B uh, rotary powered uh, stick shift, 1.8 Corolla. Uh, so yeah, this is it guys. Come visit them in Dorado, Puerto Rico. Man, they got everything here. All you need is money. So there you have it guys. You guys saw what the shop looks like inside. Super cool people in there. Really helpful. As soon as I told them what I needed, they got it for like that for me. Uh, so now I basically have all the fittings that I need for my return system. Um, I was going to buy the Dash 10 hose, but I don't have that much room in my luggage or my, cause we only came, well, she brought a book bag. I only brought a book bag. So that's why I only bought a couple fittings. Cause I can literally squeeze them in between the clothes. Um, so yeah, psyched up, got to meet another shop in Puerto Rico. Now, if I ever need some parts and I need to call them, they know me. That's what visiting local shops i'm not against buying parts online but i what i am against is solely and only buying online why because when you go in person to these shops you start building a relationship they start seeing you start knowing you um and uh that's when you when they start helping you out they might give you an extra fitting or they might, sometimes if you need something overnighted, sometimes a discount isn't as important as you actually getting the part when you need it. You know what I'm saying? So let's say, for example, I'm in an emergency situation and I need a something for my car and they have it. I've already been here. All I got to do is call them and tell them, listen, can you overnight it for me? And they'll have no problem doing that. Now... If they've never met you and you call them and I, me personally, I wouldn't expect somebody that I don't know to do a favor for me. So that's why you always should go to a local shop, meet them, talk to them, shoot the shits. So like that, you have resources, you know, when you're building a race car, you need multiple shops to be on your side. And like I said, I don't mean it as in discounts, sponsorships. No, I mean on your side for when you really need them. So I'm going to go back to the Airbnb, edit this video, and uh, throw it up on YouTube so you guys can watch it. Take it easy. Keep on racing. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.